from this picture. Now if we go on to the control of the gluconeogenesis, what will be the steps? Control of gluconeogenesis occurs at two major points, at the pyruvate carboxylase step and at the fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase step. Now this step, pyruvate carboxylase step, is tightly regulated by the presence of a factor, fructose 2,6-bisphosphate. Now this fructose 2,6-bisphosphate can be produced inside the cell when uh, there is a high uh, ratio of the signal of the hormone glucagon. When the glucagon hormone signals the cell, the cell will produce fructose 2,6-bisphosphate. Now this fructose 2,6-bisphosphate uh, will block the production of fructose 6-phosphate from fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. So this is a blockage and the second blockage is the level of acetyl CoA. If the concentration of acetyl CoA is there, it will activate the production of oxaloacetate from the pyruvate. Okay, because if we are having higher accumulation of, of the uh, of the substrate, which is acetyl CoA in this case, uh, in those situations, they they no longer lead production of acetyl CoA through the TCA cycle or uh, through the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So it will activate uh, the pyruvate carboxylase enzyme and then then pushing the reaction towards the oxaloacetate from pyruvate. Okay, so these two are the steps. Now then finally we'll talk about uh, the different interactive animations. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that because it is so tedious. Uh, I'll talk this uh, about some other videos. But this is all about the gluconeogenesis and I hope it will help you. Thank you.